Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be a challenge tutorial, guys, and um, we're bringing it on the brain surgeon challenge that is the rodeo kills. Um, we're going to show you exactly how I do it. Um, basically, we're going to get into a gameplay where I actually pick up 11 kills within one game. Uh, I have two other games which were 8 kills, 8 kills. They're going to differentiate between how many titans the opposite team can get up. Uh, the first point that I want to make out to you guys is basically do not play this for titan kills on last titan standing because what you'll find is you'll find smoke, cluster missiles, absolutely everything to get you off their backs. So what you're going to find that you're going to be doing in last titan standing is rodeoing, jumping off, trying to rodeo again and chances are you're going to get crushed in between that as well. Um, the second point that I want to make out for you is basically you want to be aggressive. Um, you just want to get in there, don't be afraid of being crushed, fair enough, you get crushed, you move back, you go back for him again. That's how you're going to pick up the kills nice, nice and fast, um, obviously it's not what you want to hear, but it's the truth, so simple as that. First point um, is basically this one here, now in attrition there's an automatic titan that spawns which is called say like Captain Wannabe or something. And um, basically if you rodeo that you have to stay on that titan for the whole duration for it to count towards your challenges. So you're basically hoping that you uh, nobody actually sees you on that titan. But that will give you one of your challenge kills so that's a nice and easy titan for you to get because there's no human pilot unless a human pilot is literally aiming at you on it. Okay, so first of all, you, what we're going to do is we're going to end up picking up a lot of challenge kills on the way as well. The secondary challenge to the rodeo is basically the LMG, and that's the Amped LMG. Um, the good thing about taking the Titans down is if you do have these burn cards, which are called Amped LMG, use them in attrition. And obviously try not to die while you are using these cards, <laughs> that's the main point. Because what you want to use those cards for is rodeoing the enemy's titans. And uh, moving on, what we're going to talk about next is your class setup. Now, a lot of people use things like RC carbines, pistols and hemlocks. The sniper rifle is actually quite decent for taking out damage on a titan, but it's never going to be as fast as this weapon. So what you want to do is you want to set up a class like this. Cloak is a necessitor. So if you don't have a cloak on, any titan that you even walk in front of is going to have eyes on you. And they can throw a rocket salvo down, they can literally just charge forward and crush you and stuff like that. As you're going to see here, I'm obviously not cloaked, but I'm close enough to the titan, so get the rodeo on. And we're going to take this titan out. The second perk that you want on the gun is when you do unlock it, you don't unlock this straight away by the way is actually called the slammer now what the slammer does is it increases your damage when you're on titan so it will take damage off a lot quicker so for example if a titan smokes like here for example and um, even though this titan doesn't smoke so it's a pretty bad example for you but if it does smoke um, chances are you're going to take that titan out before that smoke even damages you enough to kill you. Right, so we're going to be moving on now. So as you can see, I'm just working on these titans. You can see these two are parted up because what this guy does is look just here. Turns around for the other titan to get eyes on me. So what I do is I jump onto the roof and then I jump onto the second one. I'm going to take the one out that's behind first of all. He's not disembarking, he's not using anything else. I actually jump off there because I thought he was using something and you can see he's gone into an auto titan. So I'm going to take a nice and easy kill off that because he has completely disappeared off the minimap. You want to pay attention to the minimap because that's going to tell you if you're going to actually die as well. Second turn and we get onto this one now. You want to target titans that are also low health. The lower the health, obviously the easier the kill is. The only thing is, if you jump on a titan that's already low health and you've got titans around, chances are they're going to shoot them down before you even get a chance. This guy disembarks here so we're just going to take him out nice and easy. We go to rodeo that one but as you see the prime example, that titan has actually been taken out. So the brain surgeon challenge guys, it's all about confidence, rushing, it's all about attacking and being aggressive. Like here for example, 
I'm actually getting sprayed with like triple threats and everything. You can see a cluster missile over there, but I'm being aggressive and boom, I'm on the rodeo again. Now, in this particular game in attrition, what you're going to find is a lot of titans, they don't tend to use things like smoke. This one actually does, but look how long I stay in the smoke for. And boom, there you go, jump off, titan kill. Easy as that, guys. So, it's just one of those things, you've just got to be confident about the way that you play. You've got to be able to rush, but you don't want to be rushing straight in front of someone in an open area. You want to be getting from buildings to buildings, using the wall glidings, just to jump on the titans. That'll be nice and easy. And as you can see, we take out yet another one in one game, guys. So, um, I'm pretty sure this is... I've never seen anybody actually get as many rodeo kills as I do get in games, but hopefully this will teach you guys, so hopefully you'll be able to match that. Even You might even be able to better it, to be honest with you. Currently, it is probably the world record on it. Um, I've not seen a video. I have been looking through a few videos just to check it out. I've not seen a video where they've got actual 11 titan kills within one game. You can see I helped my team out there, which is my new party member. Very good player, and his name is Swoop. That is going to be one of the first additions to my team. I do have some other additions as well, but I'm keeping them secret for the time being until some clans end up versing us as well. So that'll be exciting for us, obviously. I'll be doing a series on that as well, so keep tuned to the videos. And we get on to yet another Titan, guys. So Rodeo Challenge, you can see the amount of damage the LMG. Just look at it. It's absolutely sick. I know I'm in the other. I'm not even cloaking because I'm confident these players, they can't really shoot me mid -air, to be honest with you. Um, uh, they don't seem to be that knowledgeable about the way, um, well, when you're auto-eject and you go up in the air. They don't seem to know that. But anyway, there you go. And we take out another Titan kill, guys. So nice and easy. Like I said, attrition mode. Best place to get it. Now, your other challenges in this rank, uh, it's the G7 rank. Or was it the G7? No, 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 no. It wasn't the G7. Sorry, I've just got to G7. These are G6 challenges. Forgive me for that, guys. Um, so, yeah, G6 challenges is the rodeo challenge. You want to ta target everything that's nice and low health. Goes into auto eject. Just get away from it. Back away. Pay attention to your minimap. Like, there's a red dot right in that corner there. So, just bear that in mind as well. You can see this titan here, as I'm about to go and rodeo him, there you go, there's that human player. So that's what happens when you don't pay attention to the minimap like I did there. I got a little bit overconfident and I got a little bit slacking. You can see two titans here, so I'm going to get on the rodeos yet again because these kills still will count towards your challenges, even though they may not necessarily count from the actual leaderboards, guys. So. It's as simple as that. If this tutorial did help you out, feel free, leave comments in the comment box. I'd love to read them all. And don't forget to like and subscribe the video. And yeah, all I can really say is peace out. We're just going to basically finish up this game, guys. And we're just going to get to the end of the game. You see that guy flying in the other. I actually end up on the roof with two people here. Now, the LMG, you'll find it has a lot of recoil. We do end up picking up one kill. Really, we should have got all three, but the recoil on it is just really annoying. It tends to steady itself after you've shot for a while. Right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. The Sentinel's taken severe internal damage, sir.